one of the major drivers in evaporation is temperature. Of course, the evaporative rate changes with seasons. So you could expect a much higher evaporation rate in the summer than you can, you know, during the winter, during the winter months. So, you know, typically like in a winter month, you're going to see an evaporative rate of around a 10th of an inch, sometimes as much as two tenths of an inch, uh, depending on the day. If it's not real cloudy outside, it's a real sunny winter day, you know, 70 degrees, you might even see three tenths of an inch. So typically in the summer months, June, July, August into September, you can see up to half an inch, um, even six to seven tenths of an inch of evaporation on a real hot, sunny day with high winds. So to put that into perspective, in a hot summer month for the entire month, you might see one of the Brazos River Authority reservoirs drop as much as maybe a little over a foot in a month just due to evaporation. Because evaporation is such a significant contributor to the decline in reservoir elevations during, especially during hot summer months, it's especially important that we keep our reservoirs as full as we can so we can be equipped and ready for the next major drought. Yeah.